Hello educators, go, uh, I salute you all in your capacities. Uh, I would like to uh, to make ourselves very ready for the learning environment or the learning management system and specifically for Nkumba University as a higher learning institution private in Uganda. Now the learning management system offers virtual learning uh, to facilitate online program delivery uh, for all Nkumba University courses. Uh, to access this learning management system, as you see my screen is very blank, so I need to go to and access a browser of my choice. And I'm going to use Chrome for Chrome as a browser. And not this browser, then I have to go and move to, or I go to the Nkumba University main website, that is university.sc.ug. Now, once this is done, it takes me to the main site of Nkumba, from which I will be able uh, to pick out my best interest and which is, uh, in this case, the e-learning environment. So on Nkumba main website, as it appears, then I need to move to the e-learning portal, which is uh, e-learning.nkumbauniversity.osc.ug. At this moment in time, then I move to the login section. If I have a username, there are basically two or three ways, two ways we can log in. If I have a username, for example, uh, there is a uh, and I also provide the password, then I should be able, I will be able to get into my system. Okay, so username and password should be able to take me to my system. That is for example. Alternatively, as a new user, I could, uh, I am supposed to actually go, I'm supposed to go and register. So when I click at the login section on the left hand side, top right hand side of my Kumba window, and then when I try to log in and I do not have the login details, then I'll be, I'll, I'll have to go and create a new account. In creating a new account, uh, that means I click at create new account, then I provide a username that I want to use, everything in small letters. I need to move down, provide a password, which password should be eight characters uh, long, minimum, uh, a mix of uh, letters and numbers, upper capital letters or uppercase and lowercase and also alphanumeric uh, characters. Then I go ahead and put my email address because the system will be using the email address to communicate to me. I put the email address twice. And it should be, you should take the rules of email addresses. Down at the bottom, I put my first name, my surname, my town should be confirmed. Lastly, my country should be confirmed. And once I am done, then I click at create a new account. Once this is done, the system will go ahead and give me a new account, but it will do it by sending an email to the learning management system, rather than my email address I supplied. This email address is my first point and primary point of contact. So I need to log into this email access the email that I have received uh, instructing me on how to verify my details and once that is done then I'll be within the system. Next to our discussion will be how do I access my courses. So in the next session as uh, we shall see we'll be able to see how to access our courses. Thank you very much. Wish you the best.